Hello Scrappers, this is the Rain from Card Creations and today's card we're going to do a rectangle card with a little birdhouse that I cut from the Stretch Your Imagination Cricut cartridge. I didn't realize we had a little birdhouse, it's so cute. Actually there's another one on there too that uh, I'd like to use. And then uh, this paper um, I cut from the Songbird uh, Die Cuts with a View paper stack and there are a lot of neat pages on this um, stack and I just like I've done before on some of my cards I just cut up the pages that have several uh, strips of different designs to fit my cards and here's one with nothing but birdhouses and this would be able to be cut out and use on your cards if you don't have that Cricut cartridge or one with a birdhouse and this is actual the actual page that I uh, used on my card and this is the strip that I cut and uh, just cut a portion of it and lined it on this side of the card and then put my uh, birdhouse that I cut from Stretch Your Imagination Cricut Cartridge on the right side and uh, the second card that I'm going to do I'm going to design a little bit different that way I can give you some ideas on how to use your paper stacks and the little birdies up here uh, I went ahead and cut two for each card um, just cut them out and then mounted them on foam tape in different areas of my card so we'll go ahead and get started um, let me flip through here real quick and show you the rest of the paper stack. Lots of birds. <laughs> okay, so we'll set that aside and we'll go ahead and get started on our uh, card. Now this, uh, the base is cut at eight and a half by four, and uh, excuse me, eight and a half by eight, and then I scored it at four. And then uh, on the right side of my card, I ran it through my cuddle bug. And this is the folder that I used on half the card. And that way when you open it up, you'll have an embossed image on half your card on the right side. And then on the left side, you'll be able to write your message. I hope that shows up on screen. It's a really pretty folder. And this is the name of it is Bird Call. Here's the actual cover. That actually gives you a better view of what the image looks like. Okay. So we'll start with that, and like I said, I'm going to design the second card just a little bit different, and I have cut a red mat, and this is cut at eight and a quarter by three and three quarters, and I did run this through my cuddle bug, but once I put my top layer on top, uh, you couldn't really see it, but on my first card, I just ran it through half of the card, and you can kind of see the image behind the birdhouse since uh, I just left the red border on this side of the card. So we're going to go ahead and just um, attach our mat to our base card. Just like that. Alright, and then um, on my first card, like I said, I left a border on the right side of the red. And on my second card, I'm going to... Uh, move my birdhouses over to the right and just leave a space on this side for maybe some ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to attach that like that on that side. You can go ahead and do that. Here we go, do that. And then um, my little birdhouses, I have cut two little birdhouses from the Cricut cartridge. And uh, the large birdhouse I cut at 
three inches and then the smaller one I cut at two and a quarter and this one we'll be putting on the inside of our card I have put double foam tape on the back of my birdhouse and uh, to put the birdhouse together I did cut um, a the layers and then the blackout and the shadow because when you cut the hole when the first layer of the birdhouse is cut it has a hole and that's when I did the uh, blackout on the back and then I wanted a uh, border on my birdhouse and that's what I did in the shadow and this house isn't too interesting on this piece of paper so I'm going to put the birdhouse right in that section there There we go and I used double foam tape and then I uh, had cut out a little bird uh, from the paper stack and just attached it to the front of the birdhouse and I put that on a single layer of foam tape so you can see the difference here on the two cards alright and now uh, I have cut another little bird and I want to put him over on this side just attach it to one of the other little bird houses and that way it looks like they're talking to each other aren't they cute? alright so now we'll go ahead and move to the inside of the card and uh, like I mentioned I ran the right side of my card through the cuddle bug with the bird call um, folder and the next thing I'm going to do is just attach this birdhouse right here at the bottom and there we have something nice and springy when you open your card with the embossed section on the inside of the card and let's see I was planning on adding this ribbon on this side but I failed to attach it um, before I put my mat down so I'll just kind of demonstrate what that would look like like that and then I was going to add a little bow to the front I'll get that down and, and uh, post it on my on my blog at cardcreationsbylorraine.blogspot.com and there we have two styles of birdhouses now um, if you would like to leave a comment that would be great I read all my comments and try to answer all my uh, all the questions that you have for me and uh, also if you would visit my channel on YouTube and you can find me under Max and Soji that's what I'm listed under on the YouTube channel that's M-A-X-A-N-D-S-H-O-J-I and I would love it for you to become a follower and also visit me on my blog at cardcreationsbylorraine.blogspot.com and thanks for joining me today